Hello, Finn and Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. Well, at this point, I'm thinking my character's probably tired. Yeah, see, it's, it's probably a good idea for him to go to bed. The morning sunrise is so refreshing. The sunlight reflecting off the windows is beautiful. It's because the building wasn't built that long ago, so everything is still gleaming. You know, I heard from my parents there's an explosion here ten years ago. Well, if there was an explosion there, um... I don't know, it could have been rebuilt quite recently. They replaced the building after that, but there's more to it, too. Around that time, a lot of students stopped coming to school. Maybe that's why they put up the new building. Start with a clean slate. An explosion? Did someone screw up in ca chem lab or something? That must have been a dangerous lecture. Let's talk about the Heian era today. I won't spend a lot of time on this, so pay attention. You don't spend a lot of time on any of the eras of your country's history, do you? In 794, the Heian Kaio was established. In 894, they abolished imperial emb embassies to China. I might put the sex on on the exam next week. I'm feeling lazy. Anyways, on to feudalism. Listen carefully, because this has to do with the origins of the samurai. I choose you, Adam. Let's see if you know. What law served as a foundation for the development of feudalism? I have no particular way to know. Uh, which law um, served as a foundation for um, democracy in Britain, Japanese people? Don't know. Well, you know how I feel. Good, you remembered. I assure you, I did not. It's got a very long name, doesn't it? This law was enacted because of previous law. The sun has. Ishi no, no ahoy didn't help. The found farmers got lazy. Not that that's unusual for any area, but that's all for the Heian period. Of, of this entire period of Japanese history, this is the only bit that matters. One law. Okay. So yeah, somehow I gave a correct answer. <laughs> that shows how useful random guessing is. Hmm, yeah, to be honest, I'm starting to not like Kenji that much. He's a bit annoying, isn't he? Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure that there are any people I need to particularly search for, though, um, outside of school, so I might as well. I don't think I've learned anything new about him, though. Yeah, I don't think so. See, it goes in this pattern. There's one time when you learn nothing, and then there's one time when, uh, you've got, uh, more progress in your friendship with the person. Hello, this is Elizabeth. Yeah, I thought it might be. I'm calling to inform you of a change in Tartarus. I believe a path that was blocked is now open. I thought that you would like to know. I wish you a safe journey. Welcome back. With each full moon, the shadows are getting stronger. They employ more dangerous attacks as well. So even though we have a lot of time until the next full moon, we had best use that time wisely. Yeah, you seem like the sort of person who's very focused on um, using their time wisely and being efficient. Now, I wonder... Oh, wait, no. First thing I have to do, actually, is see if this is still an option. Oh, 
Oh, something I could have gone was done was go and work at their cafe, but it's too late now. Well, I can do that the next time I have an opportunity. I want to check the requests. It's finding the cat that's going to be tricky. Mid of roadblock. That's a pity. I was hoping that I would be able to get you the third document. Okay, well I don't know where I'm going to find this cat, but I know where I can buy cat food. There's no deadline, but I suggest you do not take too long to complete it. I can at least buy this. I can't see a cat around here, so... Now, if there had been... If I could have retrieved the old document, then... The third old document, then I would have gone and, uh, done that. Um, in Tartarus, but I don't think there's much point in me going there now to go through those last few floors. I'll just be doing that the next time I go into Tartarus properly to have an explore with the fourth, um, the, sorry, the third block. Silence, cast is beginning. Sebna, ooh, qua. I plan on using the word magic in a very general sense, but today we'll talk about the single most magical place in time. Today's topic is the magic of medieval Europe. There are lots of materials pertaining to Western magic from books of fl folklore. We'll cover all of it, including the changes it's gone through. As I mentioned last time, European magic has its origins in paganism. Starting with Christianity, though, it's been influenced by the influx of various cultures. Some well-known examples are Kabbalah, the study of the mystical aspects of Jewish texts. Gnosticism, a Christian sect founded by Solomon Magnus the Sorcerer. Greece's philosophy and natural sciences were the fruit of magical researchers. The same was true of Islam's scientific advances which surpassed Europe at the time. Now, as for the circumstances of magic in this age, it was an era where the war of Christianity and the insight of natural sciences collided. Magicians bravely reached out for a connection with the gods. Are you all awake? You're not daydreaming, right? A little test to see if you're listening. Get it wrong and you'll get a scary guardian angel. Sebna Uruqua. Who should I ask? All right, Adam, I see thee. What is the mystical study of Jewish text? Very good. The magicians of the eyes achieve great things. Take we the famous Grimores. Grimores are a collection of a wide range of magical texts and. Adam, there's something I need to tell you. Well, it might take a while, so let me know when you have time. See ya. Adam Summer, when can you come to Fashion Club today? Then I hope to see you after school. I can't make the kimono without you. I know, but... I want to see if I can start working at this cafe. Days of Friday. So, look, I'll show it off if I can. If not, it's because it happens to be closed today.
Oh, it's cat. Meow. Meow. Meow, meow. Okay, cool. Well, that's some of the job done. Anyway, guess I'd better go and talk to one of these students. Okay, Kanji. Listen to this. We've got a serious problem. I saw a magazine on a Murray's coffee table. Guess what it was called? How did you guess? Man, you're amazing. When I saw that magazine, I began to think. I made up my mind, man. As soon as I graduate, I'm going to marry a Murray. No, by my calculation, you have been with her less than three months. Perhaps. This isn't the right time, especially considering how young you are, to make this decision. So what do you think, Adam? Oh, I am gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Dude, I'm not rushing things. I'm going to Marrow eventually, so what's the difference? Why should I wait? I'm seriously in love with Murray. I'm gonna marry her. Then, a Murray Kanoi will be known as Murray Tamori. Chica, I'll make her the happiest wife ever. I wanted your support, dude. Yeah, it's stronger now. He's more annoyed at me than he was really. But look, look, m mate, you are rushing things. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you. You shouldn't have asked me if you didn't want me to tell you the truth. I used to get going. Hey, I wonder how many more times I'll be able to walk home with you like this. No, so I'll try to say something nice to you the next time. Okay. Uh, I better go study since exams are coming up. That's not a bad idea. I'm sure there'll be something that I ought to be doing outside in town, but I am not going to. I'm going to study instead. Not that it's actually going to do me any good, because I'm not studying, I'm just looking at this desk. I don't know if your academic actually increases your chances of doing this right or not. Hey, what's up? Uh, exams are pretty soon, have you been studying? Seriously? Like I care. So you haven't been studying much then? Here we go, finally we're up to Tiawa no Masakado, the turning point of view of the samurai. It all began from infighting among the Tiawa clan. Their conflict escalated until the imperial court intervened. Masakado was per pursued by the imperial court and had no choice but to openly oppose them. The result was known as the War of Masakado. Adam, you don't look anything like someone, but let's see if you know this one. What title did Chao no Masakado claim for himself? Correct. Well, t this one was a fairly good guess, actually. I, I, it was still a guess, but I think it was a reasonable guess. Let's skip forward a little to the Kam Kamakawa era. At last, the samurai's presence begins to be felt in history. In 1185, the Kamakura Shogunate was established. Yes, we're there. And of course, its founder was Minamoto no Yuritomo. I can't believe we're finally here. Suki san is coming tonight. He has something to tell us. We'll meet on the fourth floor as soon as everyone is back. Okay.
Well, since there's no one around, I guess, um, hey Kenji, I guess that I should go back to the dorm. So that's what happened on the night of the 7th. It was a difficult operation. I see. They're getting tougher. But it's not all bad news. I called today's meeting because... I'm sorry. Before we go on, I'd like to ask Mitsuru-senpai something. Me? Since I've joined, so many things have happened. I went along with it without really understanding what was going on. But now I need to know. I'm gonna ask you straight out. You've been hiding something from us, haven't you, senpai? You act like you don't know anything about the Dark Hour and Tartarus, but they're related to that accident ten years ago, aren't they? What accident? Yukari-chan! There was an explosion near our school, and a lot of people died. It must have been big news back then. You know about it, don't you? Yes. Luckily, no students were injured. But, around the same time, a large number of students were recorded as absent. Seems like more than just a coincidence. What do you mean? I dug up some old school records and found something interesting. The students who were absent, they all collapsed suddenly and had to be hospitalized. Sound familiar? You know, like the girls who bullied Fuka. <laughs> There has to be an explanation. What really happened on the day of that accident? The Kirijo group built our school. So you must know something. Tell me the truth. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. It just never seemed relevant. But... It's okay. It's not your fault. All right. I'll tell you the whole story. The shadows have many mysterious abilities. Some research indicates that they can even affect time and space. We think of them as our enemies. But what if we could somehow use them to our advantage? Mm. And then we'd be kind of playing with fire, will not we? They would be a source of unimaginable power, wouldn't they? What? Fourteen years ago, one man pursued that line of thinking. He was the former leader of the Kirijo group. Koetsu Kirijo. My grandfather. My grandfather was obsessed with the shadows. He wanted to harness their power for something extraordinary. Like what? He assembled a team of top scientists, and over several years, he put together an impressive collection of shadows. A what? Damn, that's freaking crazy. However, ten years ago, during the final stages of the experiment, they lost control of the shadows' power, and in the process, the very nature of the world was altered. Oh my, do you mean? Yes, Tartarus and the Dark Hour. <sighs> By their account, the mass of shadows they collected split into several large ones that then dispersed. These are the shadows we've been encountering on nights when the moon is full. Is that why they've appeared in different places? Wait a minute. If what you said is true, then why did our school turn into Tartarus? Don't tell me. That's where they conducted the experiment? Yes. Then those students who were hospitalized. I'm afraid it's just as you're thinking. Port Island must have been an ideal location for them. It was a highly populated area, and the Kirijo group had influence there. They could do as they pleased. As you guessed, the experiment 10 years ago was conducted at Gekukan High School. Does that mean all we've been doing is cleaning up their mess? You lied to us? You knew, too, didn't you, senpai? They've just been using us. Or do you not care as long as you get to fight? I never said anything like that. I have my reasons. Think what you'd like. It was my decision not to share that information. I'm sorry. I never intended to deceive you. Convincing you to join Seas was my highest priority. As absurd as it may seem, only we, with our personas, can fight the shadows. How could you? Besides, some of us were never given a choice. I... Mitsuru. Don't. Yukari, it's those in the past who are to blame, and they lost their lives as a result of what they did. We're all in the same boat here. None of us deserve the burden that's been thrust upon us. But... <sighs> it's been ten years since that incident. No one knows why those shadows suddenly returned. But since they're active, 
at least we can find and destroy them. I don't know. I'm not that keen on Mizuru lying to us. Do you realize what this means? What if I told you that those 12 shadows are the cause of everything? And then if we defeat them all, Tartarus and the Dark Hour will disappear? Exactly! That's what I was going to tell you earlier. See, it's good news, isn't it? Is that true? There's evidence to support it. Now, our true battle begins. I see. Regardless of what's happened in the past, we must fight to protect the people. The shadows are gaining strength. We can't afford to just wait for them. Indeed. And there are many mysteries still surrounding Tartarus. Why did such a gigantic structure appear in the first place? The answer must lie within it. Hmm. Or not. I don't know for sure yet. Nothing to do as usual, huh? Hmm? <laughs> Why are you here? If you came here to try and convince me, then forget it. It's nothing like that. I just wanted to see how you were doing. Huh? We've known each other for a long time. It's been almost 14 years since we met at the orphanage. You, me, and Miki. We used to run around here until the sun went down. Back then, it seemed like we had all the time in the world. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. If you want to get all sappy, go do it with your other friends. What was that? It's rare for you to think about the past. Usually, you just charge ahead like a damn fool. So obviously, there's something on your mind. <laughs> I do reminisce sometimes. But what's the point? <laughs> anyway, we finally know how to get rid of Tartarus in the Dark Hour. No shit. Yeah. To be honest, all I've been thinking about lately is getting stronger. But yesterday... Someone made me question my reason for fighting. Your reason for fighting, huh? That's different for every person. But if you don't have a good one, you can always quit, like I did. I'm not like you. Man, I can't believe I'm the one getting lectured here. Well, see you around. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. Yes? Can I talk to you for a moment? Senpai? Oh, please come in. Not only do you excel at providing support during battle, but also at obtaining information. Oh, I I'm sorry for doing that without permission. Don't worry, you're not in trouble. But I do have a special favor to ask of you. I want you to find out as much as you can about that incident ten years ago. But very little was made public. That's why I want you to access the Kirijo Group's database. You mean hack into their system? That's illegal. Well, there's a bit of a difference as well between getting insights into where the shadows are and Fuka turning out to be a master computer hacker. I'll give you my ID and password. You'll be free from accountability. I want to know the truth. In detail. Senpai. Of course. I'll understand if you refuse. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Are you sure? I appreciate it. Yamagishi, aren't you resentful? After all, despite my good intentions, I did drag you into this without fully explaining. Certainly, you must be a little angry with me. Not really. You see... My parents have an inferiority complex because all my relatives are doctors. That's why they're so tough on me. It's really hard for me to be at home. But here, I feel important. And I can help you and the others. So why should I be angry? You're right, Yamagishi. We do need you. No one can take your place. Uh, um... Thank you. I'll see you later. So... Tartarus and the Dark Hour will be gone, huh? That's good. That's what we've been fighting for. So why am I so pissed? Gosh, it's hot. Even for July. Seriously. But at least we're seniors now. We won't be wearing these stupid uniforms much longer. Yeah, I've had enough of this. I just want to get accepted to college and start having some fun. I know why. I'm the reason. I was like, 
Fighting is my duty, but hell, it's all I'm good for. If it weren't for that, I'd be worthless. <laughs> my duty. What a bunch of bullshit. I can't fight worth shit anyway. Not compared to him, at least. This is not a competition game, guy. Damn it! Nothing I do is good enough. <sighs> Seems like my worst fears keep coming true. Am I stupid to believe in things like trust and friendship? Dad, this old letter of yours. I must have read it a thousand times since it came last spring. March 6th, 2000. To my family. Tomorrow, I bring this letter to the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It'll be stored in a time capsule and sent to you ten years from now. Yukari. You're so small right now, but in 10 years, you'll be 16. You'll be in high school. I know you've been sad because I have to work so late, but you still always greet me with a smile. I'm really proud of myself. Karijo-san appointed me head researcher. I'll be starting on a big project soon, and I'm happy to be receiving so much recognition for my work. But I swear to you that nothing is more important to me than you and your mother. Dad. Yukari, are you remembering to enjoy life? Are you... No matter what happens oh, in the so next I'm ten years, I hope you're happy. Well, I hope this letter brings a smile to your face. Love, Dad. No matter what happens, huh? I can't lose hope. For his sake, I won't turn my back. I won't be like mom, not ever. <clears throat> ah, screw it, we'll have a longer episode this time. I know it's been going on for a while, but... Sorted, I thought it would be anyway. Unless this happens. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So, how's life as a Persona user? I wonder what. I hope you'll find it soon. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all goes back to an occurrence that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Hey, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape from his true self. Regardless, I will stay with you because we're friends. Good night. Finally, the uh, final start tomorrow. I feel like we just first exams a while ago. What am I going to do if I fail again? I wish the school wouldn't post our names. Yeah, that's the worst part. You get a bad grade and everyone looks at you, at you like your dog just died. Exams will start tomorrow. Are you all ready? Some of my cases just ahead, so study hard. Somewhere's beach season. Shaved ice. It's also the hottest season, so don't neglect your health, okay? Oh, and by the way, there's a popular event in Japan in the summer that can be a little scary. This girl's chance to get close to the boys is interesting. It's called Kamodanishi. Two people go somewhere haunted at night to test the rivalry. If it's a girl, a boy and a girl. Wow. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your summer. Make sure you come out for it with some good memories.
What's wrong, everyone? Are you guys hungry? Mm, not really. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Do you have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, babes in bikinis. Man, it sure would be nice. Somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But first, we have exams to worry about. Ugh, what a drag. Now, now, you'll be fine. But yeah, I'd love to go somewhere famous for its beautiful beaches, like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Mitsuru, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He will. You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and pay him a surprise visit? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beach babes, here I come. Ugh, men. <laughs> How about it, Mitsuru? But my father is a busy man. I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> don't worry. No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. We already know when the next operation will be, so it should be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <sighs> all right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. Woohoo! Mm, the beach. I should design a special training regimen. Dude, I am stoked! I have to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got an extra pair you can borrow. Um. Okay. Nice try, man. Are you going to swim too, Ikutsuki san? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. <laughs> Whoa, was that a joke? <laughs> of course it was. Mitsuru Senpai, wait! Uh. Yeah, do you not get on with your dad? Sorry about the other day. I got a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident is still alive. But in reality, there is one witness who survived. There is? My father. Senpai. Well, this has been going on for a while. Um, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Just, yeah, I'm going to end the episode there. I will see you next time.